Hello everyone. My name is Steve Emerson and I'm an outbound product manager for our ITOM visibility solutions here at ServiceNow. And today I'm going to talk to you about an exciting new product called Tag Governance that's going to allow you to automate governance of tags across your resources. Now what do I mean by tags? Tags are essentially just labels and they are the de facto standard for aligning virtualized cloud and microservice resources with important information. Whether it's ownership, applications, projects, locations, etc. It's information that's important to you in order to track your resources appropriately. Now organizations create tagging policies for their resources based on specific use case requirements. Could be security, IT operations, financial, etc. And tags consist of two main things. A key, or a name if you will, and a value. So what you're looking at there on my screen is a sample from AWS and it shows three tags with three values. Now what is the challenge that we're trying to tackle with tag governance? So there is this rapid pace of resource deployments happening today through DevOps pipelines especially. From disparate tools by many people and across a multitude of environments. Think multi-cloud different cloud providers, your existing virtualized environments, as well as microservices. And organizations are struggling to enforce tag policies due to a lack of a centralized and automated governance system. Now incorrect tags, or the lack of tags, can lead to increased security risk, cloud sprawl, increased mean time to repair, and cost overruns. ServiceNow helps customers address this with tag governance, which is a solution that will help you automate the governance of your tags. It is a centrally managed and automated tag compliance solution across multi-cloud, virtualized, and microservice resources. And we do this by providing you a single pane of glass dashboard to visualize the health of your tags across your environment. That dashboard represents the results of audits. So we can help you automate the auditing of your tags in the CMDB to check for compliance. And through workflow, we can help you auto-remediate tags to ensure compliance. And we can help you remediate those tags automatically in the CMDB by default with the ITOM visibility entitlement. And then directly in the cloud with an ITOM governance entitlement which is a new product that ServiceNow is releasing in the very near future through controlled go-to-market. And if you're interested in learning more about ITOM governance, you can contact your ServiceNow sales representative. Now some of the, uh, the outcomes of tag governance are of course to ensure compliance with your organization's tagging policies for your existing resources as well as your newly deployed resources, especially those coming from the DevOps pipeline. So for example, if someone deploys a new set of resources through DevOps to the clouds and they haven't tagged those resources correctly, the next time you run an audit in ServiceNow, you will, uh, ServiceNow will identify the gaps and can create auto remediation tasks to help remediate those. Now it's also going to help you understand ownership and usage of cloud resources in order to prevent cloud sprawl, to improve security posture, to notify owners of IT operations alerts, and it's also going to provide you with complete traceability of tag history. Uh, ServiceNow, any changes that are made to CIs in the CMDB are audited and you'll be able to see that data. As well as, of course, it is compliant with our common service data model. Now what I just described to you was the tag governance application in and of itself. But let's think bigger picture here. Let's think about end-to-end -end tag automation. So how do we centrally automate tag discovery, compliance, and business context? So with ServiceNow Discovery, you can discover tags across your cloud and on-premises resources. And of course, automatically populate those tags into the CFDB and those tags will be aligned with the resources that they are mapped to. Then we can use tag governance to do the steps that I just mentioned about 
automating the auditing of tags in the CMDB to check for compliance, as well as auto remediation with workflow in the CMDB to correct compliance, to ensure compliance, as well as uh, with an ITOM governance entitlement, you can update the tags directly in the cloud. But then once you have a great set of tag posture, the next thing you want to do is you want to gain business context of those tagged resources. And the outcomes here are, of course, the ones I just described earlier on the, pre, uh, on, on the prior slide, but also the ability to help you pinpoint the root cause of service outages, as well as increasing efficiencies and reducing risk when planning changes. Right, and once you have business context, really, it's, really any IT workflow can take advantage of understanding business context. Now, let's get right into the demo. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to be able to visualize our tag health, right? And what you're looking at here is the tag governance dashboard, which is that single pane of glass health dashboard to visualize the results of your tag audits to ensure that they are compliant with your organization's tagging policies. And this dashboard will allow you to, of course, visualize the health of your tags in many different ways. Right, we can choose different cloud service accounts, we can choose uh, data centers, we can choose CMDB CI classes, and we can group this, this pie chart here by different areas, right? By status, by configuration item assigned to, cost center class, right? And of course, we could also, um, if we only wanted to see uh, maybe our, our fully compliant and partially compliant resources, if we uncheck non-compliant we can see that you know what that looks like so we have about 512 resources that are fully compliant which is a good start right and we can also see down below here what are the 10 most popular tags that exist in our environment and the reason why you want to do that is to see what are the most common tags so that you can maybe establish these as standards you want to apply these these 10 tags to all of your resources uh, as a starting point and then on the right hand side we see the top 10 least used tags which you know you may want to eradicate these out of your environment if we look at our efficacy tab efficacy essentially means that what is our desired state right and this is a, a dial if you will a speedometer that shows you what is your tag effic efficacy based on your tag quality and right now it's at a one right um, when you uh, you may find that when you first uh, turn on tag governance and set your policies that your tags are really not what you want them to be right so you may have a very low tag quality state uh, but the goal of course is to identify the gaps and to get you to the green over here on the right hand side we see the coverage for CIs not every CI in the CMDB is covered by a tag policy and when I say CI, I just mean your cloud resources or your resources that are tagged. Um, now, here we see the difference between governed CIs and ungoverned CIs. So the bulk of our CIs are underneath some kind of governance policy, which is good. And then down here, we compare the coverage of CIs on tag policies, right, to what is the tag quality state over time. And we can see that, you know, we have a huge chunk of CIs that are governed, but our tag quality state over time has been very bad. Now, how do we get uh, the data into this dashboard, right? How do we create the policies? How do we create, uh, you know, how do we discover the tags and so forth? So I talked about the end-to-end -end scenario on one of the prior uh, slides that I showed you, right? But ServiceNow Discovery's capability uh, will discover all of your resources, whether it's on-premise, in the cloud, microservices, etc., and it'll also discover the tags that exist there today. So here we see this is a AWS um, instance that's assigned to me, and I've got nine tags assigned to this uh, to this resource. Um, and you know some of the tags here, as we can see, are you know the environment is dev right the owner is CI owner name right but some of these things may or may not be correct based upon our tag policies so once we have the data discovered we could then create um, these tag policies 
right? These are essentially policies, and you can kick off the audits from these policies. So if we look at, uh, we have three policy types. The first being a tag count policy, which is essentially checking for to see, do we have at least, in this case, two tags assigned to our resources? Um, we can set this to run at a schedule that we, you know, that you know, kind of works for us. Um, we could also set to run on cloud events, right? Because ServiceNow Discovery's capability can um, be configured with certain cloud providers and certain services to automatically send events to ServiceNow when something changes in those environments. So we can choose to run this on cloud events as well. So here, this tag policy. Uh, applies to this cloud service account, to this VM instance class, for example, and you can even further refine it by selecting uh, certain tag filters as well to run the policy against. I can also automatically create tasks which will send a task for every failed audit to a specific uh, group. So the second type that we have is a tag key policy. Now the tag key policy um, can check for the existence of tags on a specific set of resources. So what I've done here is I've created a tag key policy named check for tag keys on order management resources. So I have limited my scope not to, the, uh, not to a CI table, but to a tag filter. So I'm looking for all resources that are tagged with order management that they have an owner um, tag key set. And down here we can see, I ran this audit prior to conducting this demo. I have uh, th three resources that are failed and three resource that, ha that is certified. So this is essentially the audit results. All right, we'll come back to what we do with those audit results in, in a few minutes here. The last um, the last type of of tag policy is a tag key and value policy, which is essentially checking for the existence of a tag key, but also that a certain value is set. So in this case here, I am checking the all the resources that are tagged with order management, and I want to make sure that the owner of that is set to Bill Jacobs. So here we see you know, we also have four failed findings here as well. Um, and if the, the next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to remediate those issues that we have found. So let's go into this tag remediation. Uh, this tag remediation is called set owner for order management resources, right? And you basically select a policy that you that is doing the audit of what you want to achieve. So in this case here, I'm saying, all right, I want to set the owner to Bill Jacobs for the criteria that's defined in this policy, which once again was um, show me all the uh, you know resources that are tagged with order management. Now, ideally, what you want to do is set this to auto remediate so that you can auto remediate those resources um, over to, you know as they occur right creating a task is great but why would somebody want to do it manually right so if it's that we want to set auto remediation here's the option to update tags in the cloud uh, once again if you if you're interested in the itom governance solution please reach out to your ServiceNow account representative and they will get you in touch with the right teams for that uh, but here we can also click the um, remediate tags button if we didn't have this option set and it would do a remediation here we see we can preview the remediation to see which uh, what we're going to be updating. So here we see on this specific resource that the expected value for Bill Jacobs uh, for tag key owner, but it wasn't there. And then the other three resources are, are, are missing owner altogether. So what this remediation would do is it would actually set the owner to Bill Jacobs uh, for all of these resources. Now, once we have a quality set of tags, right? What is that last thing we want to do is be able to gain business context. So I'm going to go into here for um, what is our tag-based service mapping solution. 
Now this solution looks at a set of tag categories. Now you create these tag categories that are more generic, like application, right? But in your environment, you may have five or six different tags that represent uh, what an application is, right? People tend to abbreviate things, so you're kind of normalizing uh, application down based upon different iterations of it. So any of these uh, tag keys for application, um, I want to just roll them up underneath application. Same thing in this case for environment. I have three different um, tag keys possible for environment. And essentially what this, what I could do here is I could view all of the service candidates that have any iteration of application uh, tag keys or environment tag keys. And here we see we have four possibilities out there right now that I could easily map. And I'm just going to go ahead and map them all. And it's going to create service maps in just a few clicks um, that we can leverage um, in different processes, right? Whether it's incident management, IT operations management, security operations, etc. But I've done this process already on the order management service prior to this. Let's take a look at that map. Um, so we have several resources that were tagged with um, order status as an app name and environment of dev, right? And this is what that map looks like, right? Here's the Steve Emerson resource. Here's here's another resource, right? Here's a here's many different resources that are aligned with this application just because the tags were were common right so order management development now really you know once you are able to have a quality tagging you can create hundreds or thousands of service maps and gain business context rather quickly which you can leverage in additional IT processes like I mentioned so at the end of the day right what we just showed you here was the ability for you to visualize tag health in a single dashboard Right, with the end goal of ensuring compliance with your tagging policies. We showed you how you can discover tags with ServiceNow Discovery, and we showed you how you can easily create uh, service maps and gain business context with, with tag-based service mapping. If you're interested in learning more about tag governance um, in general, please reach out to your ServiceNow account team. Uh, but that's all I have for you here today, and thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.